This video is created by Jagrat Creations. Useful to the students reading for CA, IPCC or say inter CA, IPC. It is also useful to the students who are reading for Commerce Graduation BCom and who are learning Corporate Accounting. This video is also useful to the professional courses like CS Executive and ICW who has amalgamation the nature of merger as a part of their syllabus. Amalgamation as per AS14 identified as amalgamation and the nature of merger means pulling of interest, amalgamation in the nature of purchase. This sum is on pulling of interest means amalgamation in the nature of merger. Just observe the sum on the screen. You can pause the video and read it. Notice that 12% debenture holders of Alpha and Beta Limited are discharged by Gamma Limited by issue of adequate number of 16% debentures of 100 to ensure that they continue to receive the same amount of interest. So in exchange for debenture holders, in exchange debentures are given by the purchaser. Preference shareholders of Alpha and Beta Limited. Alpha Limited and Beta Limited have received the same number of 15% preference shares of 100 from Gamma Limited. So for preference shareholders, preference shares will be given. Gamma Limited has issued 1.5 times 1.5 equity shares for each share of Alpha Limited. One equity share each for Beta Limited. The face value of the shares of Gamma Limited is 100 each. So this is the terms and conditions for acquisition are given. Notice that. Assets and liabilities are not revalued one. All the shareholders of vendor company are going to become the shareholders of the purchasing company. The payment is made by purchaser company in the form of equity shares. The, after amalgamation, the business of Alpha and Beta Limited are going to be continued. So these are the various peculiarities which leads us to account for amalgamation in the nature of merger. But let me consider these conditions for amalgamation in the nature of merger in bit detail. Just observe. Following are the conditions required for accounting of amalgamation by merger or say pulling of interest first. All the assets and liabilities of the transfer company are purchased by the purchasing company, transferring company. All the assets and liabilities must be taken. Only assets are taken, liabilities not taken, few assets are taken, few liabilities are taken. No, all the assets and liabilities must be taken. Shareholders holding not less than 90% of the face value of the equity shares of the transfer or company become the equity shareholders of transfer company. So minimum 90% of the shareholders of the vendor company should become the shareholders of the purchasing company. In the given case, all 100% shareholders of vendor company, transfer or company becomes the shareholders of transfer company means purchasing company. Consideration for amalgamation is discharged by transfer company wholly by issue of equity shares in the transfer company except cash may be paid in respect of any fraction. You must have noticed that preference shareholders are given preference shares. Equity shareholders of Alpha Limited given 1.5 equity shares in exchange but they are given the share, shares of the purchasing company. So the payment has to be made. The purchase price has to be discharged in the form of equity shares of purchasing company. After the amalgamation, the business of the transfer company is intended to be carried on by the transfer company. So business will be carried on after amalgamation. That's a presumption. No adjustment except uniformity in accounting policy is intended to be made in the books of assets and liabilities of the transferor company in the financial statement of the transfer company at amalgamation. So 
assets and liabilities should not be revalued at the time of acquisition. Only for the uniformity of accounting policy, whatever the change in value occurs, to that extent, change in the value is permitted. Say for example, assets, on assets, depreciation is provided by purchaser, transfer company, by straight line method, and for the similar assets, depreciation is provided by transferer company, means vendor company, by diminishing balance method. Now the diminishing balance method depreciation valued assets are to be converted into straight line method depreciation valuation. For that purpose, for uniformity of accounting policy, whatever the change in, change in the value of fixed asset required to be made, to that extent the revaluation is permitted, otherwise no other revaluation is permitted. That's an important point. Nature of all reserves and surplus of the transferer company shall be out, shall not be altered by the transfer, transfer company. You may notice that the revaluation reserve status will be carried forward in the purchasing company as revaluation reserve in the given sum. So the nature and the nature of the reserve shall be maintained after amalgamation. That is also one of the style of accounting or this is what is to be done in accounting by pulling of interest method. Now let me start with the sum. Here I am going to make calculation for acquisition of Alpha Limited. Now 12% debenture holders of Alpha Limited and Beta Limited are discharged by Gamma Limited by issue, issuing adequate number of 16% debentures of is 100 each to ensure that they continue to receive the same amount of interest. Now, Alpha Limited debenture holders are 96 lakhs. They are given interest at the rate of 12%. Whatever the interest they are receiving at the rate of 12% on 96 lakhs, they should receive the same amount of interest at the rate of 16% from Gamma Limited. Now, let me prepare a working for that. Interest on debentures of Alpha Limited should be equal to interest on debentures of Gamma Limited. Here 96 lakhs into 12% should be equal to 16% of X amount. So if you work it out, 11.52 divided by 16%, you will get the value of X. So 72 lakhs debentures are given for the debenture holders of 96 lakhs. So 96 lakhs is the value of debenture of Alpha Limited exchange for 72 lakhs. So 96 liability is paid by giving 72. So there is an exchange gain. That exchange gain is adjusted to revenue reserve. That's an important point. Similarly, I want to work out for Beta Limited. The interest income should be same. Beta Limited debentures are 80 lakhs. They are getting interest at the rate of 12%. So 80 lakhs into 12% should be equal to 16% of X amount. So 80 into 12, 80 into 12%, 9.6 divided by 16% is the X amount. So debenture given in exchange is 60. So against the debenture of 80 lakhs, debentures given are 60 lakhs. So this exchange gain will be adjusted to revenue account. This is how the exchange gain occurs and that has to be adjusted to the revenue accounts as per amalgamation the nature of merger. Same way, same way let me work out for preference shareholders and equity shareholders. Now, preference shareholders of Alpha Limited and Beta Limited have received same number of 15% preference shares of 100 in Gamma Limited. So preference share of 400 are getting same preference share of 400 in the Gamma Limited. Similarly here the preference share of 300 are also receiving the same preference shares in the book in Gamma Limited. Now look at the equity share exchange. 1.5 equity share for one share. Here 1000. So 1000 into 1 1.5. So for 1000 lakhs, 1500 lakhs equity shares are given and here 
वन इक्विटी शेयर फॉर वन इक्विटी शेयर सो फॉर एट हंड्रेड लैक्स एट हंड्रेड लैक्स इक्विटी शेयर आर की सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ इक्विटी एंड प्रेफरेंस शेयर इन द बुक्स ऑफ वेंडर फॉर दैट वैल्यू गिवन इज नाइनटीन हंड्रेड लैक्स सो दर इज एन एक्सेस पेमेंट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड लैक्स दैट विल बी एडजस्टेड अगेंस्ट रेवेन्यू रिजर्व एक्सेस पेड फाइव हंड्रेड एडजस्टेड अगेंस्ट रेवेन्यू रिजर्व दिस इज एक्सेस पेमेंट दिस इज एक्सेस गेन नो डिस हियर देर इज नाइदर गेन नॉर लॉस एक्सेस एक्सेस पेड नील एडजस्टेड अगेन सो देर इज नाइदर गेन और नॉर लॉस नाउ लेट बी डेमोस्ट्रेट द एडजस्टमेंट टू रेवेन्यू रिजर्व विच आर द रेवेन्यू रिजर्व जनरल रिजर्व अल्फा एंड बीटा profit and loss account alpha and beta now these are the total revenue reserves of the vendor company which is purchased by gamma limited but at the time of purchase the excess payment made or the gain in payment has to be adjusted to this revenue reserve that's an important point under pooling of interest method or amalgamation the nature of merger now nil plus 500 this is excess payment And gain is how much? Twenty four plus twenty forty four. So this is the net loss, net excess paid from four ninety four fifty six is to be deducted. So revenue reserves left after this adjustment is thirty four. The status of revel revaluation reserve will be maintained in the books of Gamma Limited after amalgamation in the nature of merger. Now I want to prepare balance sheet, so I prepare notes on accounts. so these are the titles in with the notes are prepared in lakhs fixed assets will appear in non current assets current assets loans and advances in current assets now preference share capital 400 plus 300 preference share capital 100 each you can write authorized issued and subscribed capital all details you can write This is the revaluation reserve status remains same. Current liabilities and provision. Now you have to write down the equity share fifteen hundred plus eight hundred twenty three hundred hundred each. These are the new debentures given sixteen percent debentures given in exchange one thirty two. Revenue reserve thirty four. This is how the notes and accounts are prepared. Now I have to prepare balance sheet as per Schedule Three. These are the titles in which the information is to be reported in balance sheet. Equity share capital hundred each, preference share capital hundred each. Revaluation reserve. You can write profit and loss account instead of revenue reserve. Long term borrowing sixty percent debentures. Current liabilities and provisions. Fixed assets, non-current assets, current assets have a total of equity and liability. Same should be the total for assets. Three six four five. This is how the balance sheet is prepared under amalgamation. The nature of merger. So I have tried to explain you this sum, discussing theory in brief for pulling of interest. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.